everyone welcome back to my channel for another video before we get started I just want to show you this little clip of shadow my puppy dog so many of you asked me how he's doing and I really appreciate that so that's his little spot <laughs> that he loves to sleep in when I'm working sometimes he'll come over to my desk and jump into my lap which is very cute um, not that he can fit entirely there but he tries so anyway, he's doing well. He's adjusting well. Thank you all so much for asking about him. He's absolutely adorable. Uh, and as you can see, most of the pictures I've been printing lately are of my dog. Like I feel like pretty much all of my, <laughs> all of my photos are of my dog, uh, which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, let me know if I'm the only crazy one out there who just prints photos of their pets or whether you are on the uh, same boat there. So I am starting off this journal session by just documenting some mundane things. I'm putting in this photo of me and Shadow cuddling in the morning while I have my coffee and watch YouTube videos, which is like the way that I wake myself up. It's about all I can handle uh at that time so yeah it's just fun to see like the different seasons of life the little things that you go through and how they change over time and what stays the same uh like this time last year i was doing the same thing uh but i was cuddling with the dogs um that the people that I lived with at the time had uh in my big bedroom and now i'm doing it on a little sofa in my tiny house so it's just fun to see the evolution of time and those little things. So don't be afraid to document just the little details and parts of your everyday life because sometimes uh, the everyday parts change and it's you forget all about things you used to do. Another thing that I'm trying to do lately is use my seasonal ephemera and things. And funny enough, I have almost no spring <laughs> stuff. Uh, I have one magazine, that little set of sticker die cuts, and then the couple sticker sheets that you saw, and that's really all that's in my spring ephemera bag. Uh, of course, I have like three bags for Halloween and fall, uh, and a couple bags for summer, but <laughs> that's it for spring, and I don't know why it is. I think I just... I don't really gravitate towards the imagery that typically is of springtime. Like, I'm not super big on florals. Like, I like plants and flowers in real, like, seeing them in real life, but it's just not imagery that I gravitate towards. Uh, and I'm not really into, like, the cutesy butterflies and stuff, even though, again, in real life, I love butterflies. I don't know what it is. It just, I'm not a springtime person. So, but I am trying to make an effort to use those things up. If you hear any sniffling at any point in this video that I forget to edit out, I do apologize. My uh, seasonal allergies are kicking in, uh, which is fine with me because that means the seasons are changing. So I want to talk to you a little bit today about uh, finding time to work in your journal. I have really changed my journaling habits over the years and I think that that's just how life goes sometimes. I've gone through periods where I haven't journaled at all, and then I go through periods where I journal literally every single day, and then there's some periods where I'm just uh, doing my creative journal or just writing, and I just wanted to talk to you about kind of where I'm at right now, because a lot of people ask whether I make specific time like for journaling. Uh, do I schedule it in? How do I kind of get it done and keep creating things? And part of it, of course, is because this is uh, part of the way I make a living. Of course, I have my Patreon where I share regular journaling content uh, and I share it with you guys as well. It's also my job to always be kind of making new sticker products and classes and journals and things for you guys. So I do have probably more time than the average person, but in terms of just journaling, like for myself, I only do that maybe once or twice a week. And it's literally only for like 
20 to 40 minutes. I don't have huge chunks of time that I dedicate every day to working in my journal. The longest I work in my journal is during my live streams on Patreon and that's about it. But yeah, I just, whenever I'm feeling inspired and have something that I want to stick in my journal, I'll kind of take that time if I have it to just work on it and fill in little gaps. Uh, if you're curious about how I get started during a journal session, you can check out my last video. I'll leave it linked in a card for you because I chatted all about that and gave you some tips on how you can kind of jumpstart a journal session if you are stuck. But yeah, it's just really, it's something I don't create a lot of time for. And part of me would love to, of course, spend more time doing it, but I'm okay with just getting in there once or twice a week for me for a small amount of time and working on things. And this also works for me because I don't work chronologically. I do kind of work on, I have a monthly spread. So like this is April spread. So I'm kind of working on that. And I do try to keep things that were documented in a certain month between those months in my journal, if that makes any sense at all. I could have just really confused you, but that's how I work. And I'm still working on pages from January, just like flipping back, adding bits of writing, doodling little things to fill in blank space, adding a sticker that I'm like, oh, this would have been perfect for that. Uh, and it makes it really easy to take advantage of those tiny pockets of time because I can literally open my journal and be like, oh, I want to put this sticker here and then close it. And to me, that's still journaling. Like, even though it was three seconds and I put one sticker in, it still counts. Now, I do want to mention, even though I don't creative journal every day, I do write in my planner every day. So I use a bullet journal style planner. I was using the Hobonichi Cousin for the beginning of this year. I recently switched into something else, but my the way I do it is always the same. So I have my planning in there, my monthly and weekly and daily to-do list, but I also will jot little things down which one could consider journaling. So I'll write down like what movies we watched or if we went out to lunch or something else happened. I, I saw something cool that I wanted to remember, uh, a quote, you know, just things like that. So you could consider that journaling if you wanted. And I do do that pretty much every day, but that only takes me a few seconds in the morning and in the evening. I usually do it in the morning first thing before I get to work. So the whole point of me sharing all of this with you was just to encourage you to take whatever time you can get and to not discount or discredit the small moments that you do get into there. You don't have to journal every day or every week or even every month to be a journaler. You could journal once every two years and it's still, you're still a journaler. And it doesn't matter what format you choose to do in it. Even if you just have a planner and you're writing down things in there, uh, like little events that happened, to me that's, that's considered journaling. So do I find time every day to do it? Um, not really. I don't set aside time every day. I just, I work in my planner and obviously that time is already set aside because I need to know what I'm doing. Uh, so I do have that, but in terms of creative journaling, it really doesn't happen uh, all that often. So I hope that answers the question for people who are wondering. But now we are on to kind of the final page that I'm working on uh, during this little journal with me that I've shared with you today. One of the things that I made in my journal this year, and if you have no idea what kind of journal I'm using and would like to hear more about that, I will direct you to my 2021 journal video so that you can check out kind of what I'm using. It's a Dina Wakely Media Journal and I explain all the things there. I'll probably have a quarter like now that the quarter's done, I'll probably do like a flip through at some point. So make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on, which is the little bell icon next to the subscribe button. If you don't see it, you can unsubscribe and resubscribe and it should pop up. But that just makes sure that uh, you don't miss it when I actually post the video, when I actually post the video. Anywho, I had done a spread earlier in this journal of 
things that we had been watching. Usually we don't watch uh, like movies and things that often, but Chris and I have been doing that more lately, especially we had um, lost internet for about a week because of a misunderstanding with the internet company. Uh, but anyway, we all we had were DVDs, so we watched a lot of movies and stuff. So I'd already filled up that spread where I was documenting uh, what we were watching, and you saw it a couple, a couple moments back when I flipped back to it. So I decided to kind of recreate this page again and uh, fill it up because we already have a couple things we were watching. So I designed this TV-like spread after some of my stickers that I have in my Etsy shop. So in my Etsy shop, I have some TV and chill stickers. They're just little TVs you can put in your journal or planner to kind of help document what you were watching at the moment, which are really fun. Uh, if you don't know, I have an Etsy shop where I release stickers uh, monthly. And if you'd like to kind of get in on that and know when those things are available you can join my newsletter it's totally free the insider newsletter down in the description box below uh, no spam i send out like one email a month sometimes two if i'm feeling ambitious uh sometimes less so i just send those out to kind of notify you guys this is what's going on in the shop these are the new videos i posted on youtube in case you missed it uh and other fun projects i'm working on so yeah that's down there if you're interested shameless plug <laughs> i decided to recreate the tv as i was saying after those stickers and the first one that i did had like a pink and orange ombre effect and i wanted to keep with that like super bright neon look so i painted like the outside of the tv the part that would usually be black right that little border i painted it with some yellow and blue paint from diane Reevely. they're like super neon so those are really fun. They like pop. And then of course I'm using, again, the Dilutions black paint, which is like my favorite black paint of all time to block out the middle. And then I'm going to give it a little border uh, and it's going to look like a TV. And these spreads are just so fun. Uh, whenever I document things that I've watched, we just, I, not we, <laughs> things we have watched, I will uh, look up the movie or the TV show on Google Images and I'll screenshot the movie poster and then I print it out in like a small size and use that to kind of document what we watched because I am terrible with like names. You could be like, have you seen this movie? And I will have watched it at least like four times and I'll be like, no, I don't think so. I really need the visual to be like, oh yeah, I saw that movie. <laughs> So that's what I do, uh, and it's just a really fun way to just, I don't know, document. I don't know why I document what I watch. I guess it doesn't really matter, but it's just something fun. It's how you spend your time, uh, a way that I relaxed. So I like to have that in here and kind of remember. And I'm one of those people who like watch, will watch the same movie over and over again. like. If I have the choice to watch a new movie that I've never seen or watch an old movie that I know that I already love, I will always pick the old movie. <laughs> I am like someone who loves to relax with things that like, I already know what's gonna happen. I know I'm gonna like it. Uh, most of the time I only vaguely remember the storyline. So it's kind of like watching it for the first time anyway. Uh, but then of course I do have those movies where I know like pretty much every line. <laughs> I do that with TV shows too, uh, like just silly, adult cartoon TV shows. So let me know what type of person you are in the comments below. Are you someone who watches new things all the time or do you watch the same old, same old and are perfectly happy with that? I would love, I would love to know. Is there anybody else like me? <laughs> uh, but yeah. And if you uh, always watch the same thing over and over again, let me know what you watch and maybe I can find some new things too add to my rewatch list if that makes any sense all right you guys we are coming towards the end of this journaling session I'm just gonna add my little TV feed here I'm going to put a border on it and then I'm going to take my fluorescent yellow Posca paint pen and write what's on tonight as the title for my page I am so happy, again, like I said, to start 
filling this up. I also apologize to anyone who is <laughs> a stickler about grammar. I never put apostrophes in. I don't know why. Um, half the time I don't notice when my phone does it. You know how it's like supposed to autocorrect it in there? It doesn't. Um, and I just, I don't know. I can't be bothered, I guess. If I was writing like a legit document, uh, or like a post, I would definitely make sure the apostrophe was in there, but because it's just for my journal, I really just don't, I can't be bothered. Life is too short for proper grammar. That is it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this journal with me and my nonsense rambles. If you would like to check out anything that I mentioned, uh, Etsy store, insider newsletter, uh, <laughs> videos I referred to, I already forgot what else I said, but uh, that can all be found in the description box below. A huge thank you to my patrons for sponsoring today's video. They help make what I do over here on YouTube and other places of the internet possible uh, by allowing me to get creative and still uh, pay my bills and feed my puppy dog. So thank you guys. You guys rock. Thank you to you, my creative peeps, for watching today's video. Don't forget to tell me what kind of TV watcher you are in the comments below. I'm super excited to read those comments. And with all that being said, I will catch you guys in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye!